Yeah. Okay, we are back here, and we can talk to Sakura, Mamiya. We got something to do, and I need you. So please help me out, and hopefully I don't screw this up this time, since I'm controlling Sakura for some reason for the acupuncture. Sorry, but I'm busy with another client right now. Plus, I'm all the way over in Hotel District. Oh. Feel free to call me again later, though. I guess someone else got to her first, but of all places, the Hotel District? Something seems off here. Uh, is that an indication I should go check that? It sounds like that. Anything happen over here? Nope. Everything else is tied behind Reputation 45, which I think we're about to get done, actually? Because if I'm not mistaken, I wish I could check. I think there's a place I can check. Actually, it's been a while since I've actually checked what I can use my SP for. I can actually boost my health to max, which would be huge. There is some finishers I'd like to get my hands on. Because I've been wanting to do that, I suppose. Like this. Ah, soccer definitely on the map there. That's a huge indication that I should go see how she's doing. Alright, there is Sakura getting haggled by a man. Okay. <laughs> uh, why am I not fucking surprised? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't do nasty things like that. Uh? Oh, then why'd you put your hands so close to my pecker? You were trying to get me off, weren't you, you dirty girl? Now you got my motor all wound up. Ooh. Oh, I'm in like a vacuum cleaner, baby. Time to clean the carpet. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to knock you out something funny, bruh. You funny, funny. Unhand me, you fiend! Why can't men let a massage be a massage? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me, why are men the way they are? Sometimes they just like this. Kind of scary, though. Whoa, this doesn't look good. Hey, you need to stop right now. Huh? Oh, now you blowing the belt. If you're looking to get yanked, then wait your goddamn turn. <laughs> you're ugly for that. Yogami san, help me out here. Nah. What's he trying to do? Well, when I offered him a massage, he kept making dirty requests, and now he won't leave me alone. Hey, I'm a paying customer. What kind of sissy wants a regular massage anyway? Now, less talking, more tugging. <laughs> You do know that's coercion. Is you know that coercion is a serious crime, right? Like, yeah. Get lost before things get much worse for you. I, I whoop your ass, buddy. Try coercing my pickle. <laughs> I try. It, it, it doesn't listen. In fact, it tells me to smack you for getting in my way. So your dick is telling you to smack me in the face, really? No. So is your dick wanting to smack me in the face, or are you trying to smack me in the face? Cause I'm about to beat your ass. Well, my fists are telling me to shut you up first. Wait, it got me, son. Mm -hmm. What is it? What the fuck? What just happened? <laughs> Ouch! What was that for? Whoa! What'd you do to me? My muscles feel like loaves of bread rising in the oven. <laughs> it's simple. Thanks to all that practice you gave me, I finally mastered what I call the essence of acupuncture. That sounds very familiar to a former Yakuza game. What the hell? I wonder who had that. You mean... Yeah. I activate a special pressure point on your body. You should be feeling like a champion right now. Consider it my special gift to you. Now lay out all that extra energy and finish them off. Not sure how all that works, but I appreciate the help. Uh -huh. You little punk! You think you could just waltz over here and ruin my chance to get robbed, you damn meat! Yeah, your meat's about to get yeeted. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! <laughs> you be action, baby. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> 
That was not a happy ending at all. Your ending should have come a long time ago. Next time, find somewhere that actually specializes in that kind of service. That's what I've been trying to do. Yeah, just get the heck out of here, man. Uh, Whoa, he's gone. Hope he doesn't cause any more misunderstandings. Really bail me out there, you got me, son. Can't thank you enough. Man, that friendship. 45, baby! You got a new... A new thing got to do back at the office. I can say the same for you. That needle worked wonders on me just now. I see. Ain't you glad we got through all those practice sessions? I wouldn't say I'm glad, but I guess all that torment was worth it in the end. Yeah. Oh, I know. I don't give you massages half off from now on to express my appreciation and such. That would be awesome, but I won't be getting any more near-death experiences, right? Mm. It's possible. Luck of needles, remember? Bruh. Eh? Hey, now. <laughs> More Osaka humor coming at you free of charge. And hey, if you ever feel tired again, you know who to call. What the actual heck, man. But we are pretty much hitting the end game here. I don't think I'm going to touch this yet. I don't think I can finish his friendship for a little bit longer. There is the drone races that give me friendship, so we're going to have to tackle that. And we got the last girlfriend event, which we are going to now start doing. So, with the Mane ready to be dealt with, we got one more like side case I can start at Yagami Detective Agency, but I think we're going to give it some time before we start it. So I think, with all seriousness, getting the law office is finished of side cases, and I think we're almost done with what's going on at Bartenda, but I do think I should check it just in case. Alright, Bartenda, there ain't anything here. Ah, so there's one more side case left here as well. Okay. Yeah, we truly hit in the end game of this playthrough, boys. So we got the sexual harassment investigation. I want you to get proof of my superior sexually harassing me. I would prefer rock solid evidence he can't weasel out of. However, my boss is the president's son, so I'm not sure how to handle this. I would like to consult you about this issue. I'll be waiting at Cafe Majuri. Alright. There's one there. That will be the last side case for Bartenda. Alright. Alright. We are going to hang out with Miss Amani son, which. I still don't understand how this could be a girlfriend event. I mean, she is pretty cute, honestly. But I didn't think yeah, she'd be attracted you. to Yagami, to be honest with you. Greetings, Yagami-san. Hey there. What you staring at? There's something wrong. It is as I feared. I can sense a bovine disaster forming in the air above you. Yes, I see calamity of a cow. I don't understand this. I forgot that she said this. Yeah, right. This is going to be a very interesting girlfriend event. Seriously? What should I do? I merely go about your usual business. Fear not, for I shall keep watch over you. That's it. Well, I suppose we could at least kill some time somewhere. Since you're coming along, is there anything you've been wanting to do? Let me think. You know, I do give a considerable talent for Shogi. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not even going to try to do that. However, I wouldn't mind going wherever you want. As long as it's nothing to do with the sex industry. Why do you have to indicate that? Hey, don't just assume I like that sort of thing. <laughs> really? I thought that all men were into that. What kind of assumption is that? Well then, where to go? Shogi, Darts, or Casino? If we could go to the Casino, I'm be real with you. <laughs> As I'm gonna be usually cutting these, it doesn't really matter what the fuck I show. Let's get this over with. I won! 
you truly have impeccable aim and control. <laughs> Damn straight, I do. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, looks like we're just about done. Do you want to go relax somewhere? Spud, that would be wise. Though I'm starting to feel like we're actually on a date. I mean, you tell me. That smile says something. If that's such a bad thing, I'm thinking we might as well enjoy ourselves. Perhaps, but dropping your guard may just result in you getting trampled by a cow. <laughs> Alright then, I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Damn, why is her eyes so damn shiny here? God damn. Alright. Find out more about her. Ask about the calamity. No, I want nobody. Ah, let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's do this first. How would you describe a sign of calamity? I can't really imagine what that's like. It's as if a hazy sort of image appears over someone's head. I see. Like a video game. And are these images always the same? No, it depends on the situation. For example, it could be a lashing, or uh, a, a lashing tongues of fire, or perhaps a mirage of darkness. What? Sometimes a sign will show up very clearly, like a photograph, whereas other times its two form will remain clouded in a haze. So, does my cow calamity look like? What does it look like? It, precisely that, a cow. A large, fierce one at that, covered in sinews that swell with strength like a matador's bull. Can you see it right now? Oh yes, quite clearly in fact. <laughs> I suggest you avoid wearing red. Oh, okay. Can you see these signs of people passing by as well? I can. And whenever I do, I make sure to notify that person. Without compensation, of course. Do you even make a profit from that? So you're volunteering then? So you're volunteering then? Yes, all I want to use my power to save lives, so I'm happy to do it free of charge. That's admirable. I don't think I could do that. Are you at least able to feed yourself? Of course. Not like I can survive by only breathing air. Every now and then, I pick up a part-time job or two that allows me to earn a lot within a short time. Okay, I, I don't want to ask what that might be, but... Amana, you good? What kind of jobs are they? Mm, let's see... Nude modeling? What? That the kind of work you do? Are you that... You know, confident that your body's worth that much? I mean, you, you really do got a pretty face, but... What the fuck? Hi. Yes, I was requested quite often due to my voluptuous figure, which su supposedly is very ideal for painting. I didn't really... S Are you talking about voluptuous in terms of your curvy, I'm guessing? If we're gonna put it that way? Because I didn't really see her that way. I still don't. I just see her as a girl with a pretty face. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> a man can only wonder. My client was a young art student with too much lust for him to bear. He devoured every inch of my body with his gaze. I mean, you gave him shit to eat up with his eyes. He gonna eat that shit. <laughs> I bet he did. <laughs> if you ever find yourself painting, I'll be happy to mo- It certainly won't be cheap to- <sighs> I see. I see. I see. Once I save up enough, sure. In any case, I inherited a mansion from my parents, so at least I have somewhere to stay. I simply like spending money. I see. I'm glad you have a home. Is your fortune telling business going well? Hmm, I would say. I'm working on it. Guess it's not going too well. What's been bothering you? Hmm. Find out more about her. Let me know who you are, girl. Cause when we saw you in the sake saga, I'm gonna be honest, I'm still confused. Like, who are you really? You know? Who is the you I'm talking to? I'm gonna think of it, Monty son. I don't really know much about you other than your fortune telling, I mean. Are you saying that you're interested in me? 
<laughs> is that wrong? I'm very. I've been interested in her the moment that we like did that whole sublam with the uh, the side case. Like the side case, I was interested in her from the beginning because usually these side cases, the fortune tellers are kind of sus in these yakuza games. But she's a different one. She's a different case. But yeah, I'm very interested to know more about you. Oh. Yeah, I'm curious what a fortune teller does in her spare time. Do you have any hobbies, perhaps? Well, I'm not entirely sure if this counts, but... I like small animals, like hamsters and hedgehogs. Do you own one? Hi. Yes. I actually have a golden hamster named Yagami Sa- <laughs> <laughs> What? Nah, no, 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 no. What? You have a hamster named Yagami Sa? Please tell me you didn't just get that hamster recently. I swear. Huh? What did you just say? I have a hamster named Yagami Son. <laughs> <laughs> I realized it looked a lot like you, so I renamed him. Oh, okay, that's interesting though. No kidding. Ah, oh, I can't ask her. Are you having any difficulties with your job? Wait, why was I able to ask that? Wait, wait, wait. It was locked, wasn't it? As a matter of fact, I am. But when I consider all the frightening calamities swirling about the populace, my troubles seem rather trivial in comparison. Have you ever thought about yourself? I want to say this. True, but have you ever thought about yourself? Eh? Pardon? I mean, you paid for my services just to be able to warn people, even got attacked in the process. Seems like for the amount of effort you put into helping others, you sure don't get much out of it. Huh. I see that she didn't know what to say, but I see the affection meter went up. You're a kind person, Yagami-san. Only kind to you? I'm only kind to the lady. What is these options, huh? I can't say I'm only kind to you. That's kind of such a cop-out. I'm only kind to the ladies is also a fucking cop out, but the better thing I'm only kind to you. I just I don't want to say that. I'm only kind to the lady. Uh, I had no idea you were such a flirtatious man. Oh, why you look at me like that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was only kidding. Were you really? Yeah, sure. Now I can ask with brother. Let go. All right, let's go. If you ever, if you're comfortable enough, would you tell me what's on your mind? I mean, you can talk to me. My customers. What about them? They always get scared of me and run away. It happens whenever I warn them about the calamities. It's just the way you warn them. I'm telling you, it's the way you warn them. Wait, that's what's been bothering you? It has indeed. <laughs> I offer them advice so that they can avoid imminent peril, and yet they flee as if I were something hideous. <laughs> What's worse is that most people run away before I can even get the words out. I see. What could I be doing wrong? It's the way you tell them. How do you approach these people? Hmm. I could always explain, but perhaps that would be quicker to it, it would be quicker to show you. What does she do? Is she gonna talk to someone random? Oh yeah, she is. Oh boy. You sir, over there. Do you have a moment? Oh no, Amane, what are you about to do? Just like that, huh? She just approaches them like that. Yeah, sir, a moment. Huh? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Okay. How unfortunate. I detect a great calamity in your future. <laughs> I tell you, it's the way that she says it. You have to, like, introduce yourself because you're meeting this person for the first time. Say your occupation. Then say, there's something about you that's bugging me that you have this going on about you. 
so it doesn't come off as weird like this. An academic disaster is about to befall you. Yes, I can see that studying will bring you great misfortune. How can you tell someone that? Dude, that's like the most fucked up thing to say to somebody. Look, if you're telling somebody who literally is dog in every single subject and wants to excel in that other subject that they couldn't excel in, and then you tell them they can't excel even in what they're trying to excel in, it's like being told that you can't do something, you actually could do it, but you just haven't tried to do it. And she's like, no, hell no, no, you can't do it, you gotta make it worse for yourself. I'm like, I, I, I can't. Eh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Be sure to guard your material possessions as you fill your mind with knowledge, lest you slip and lose both to the void. <laughs> this is so horrible. Lady, what the hell are you talking about? What did the nonsense all of a sudden? <laughs> My exams are coming up tomorrow, so stop bogging me down with all your cryptic negativity. That's why I'm saying she gotta approach it differently, man. Hold on, Amani son. Mm -hmm. Now they get a good look at her body. <laughs> I didn't think I'd say that. She does seem like she has a rack, which I didn't think she had. But, anyways. Honestly, I still see her as just a girl with a pretty face. That's it. Let's get back to our seats now. Sorry about that, man. Oh, the music comes back. So, I got a grasp of how you usually are with people. That's definitely an issue here. It's the way you approach people. Mm. Is there something amiss about my approach? Be blunt, be indirect. Fuck an indirect. She needs, she needs the answer. It's the way you approach people. Yeah, you see, anyone would get scared if you told them they're gonna suffer right off the bat. That's the thing, yeah. Now, anyway, you can make your warning sound less extreme without, like, unloading the doom and gloom. Yes, Yagami. Yes. Less extreme, you say. Yeah, your tone, for example. Maybe try approaching them in a more friendly way. These are random strangers you were talking about here. You're right. I'll be more mindful of that next time. Let me take a picture of you. Get a good look at you. How about we take a picture together? Yeah, she really got a pretty face. She's pretty cute to me. For sure. <laughs> it's just funny that, despite all that, it is what it is, you know? You got me, son. Look, it's that student from earlier. What about him? A calamity of studying will surely attack that young man. Should we not watch over him? Or at least deliver a proper warning? <laughs> Oh god, bro. Are you absolutely sure something bad gonna happen to him? Sometimes I wonder if these are truly just calamities or some other means of understanding. Because I feel like some things are meant to happen some things aren't. And when some things aren't meant to happen, you can change it. It makes it kind of hard to say that it's a calamity. It has to be some other term for this. But it is what it is. Fate does not bear false witness, Yagami-san. There is no doubt in my mind. Accept or refuse? Why would I not give her a chance? This is for you. This is your thing. And I'll go with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What's with the other guy? What the other guy doing? Could he be... Oh, is he going to steal his shit? Would he really be that cringy to do that? Uh, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to put that bag down before I whoop your ass. <laughs> that bag you're holding, it's not yours, is it? Uh, if you return it without raising an issue, I might just let you off the hook without getting the police involved. Bro, chill out with the police word, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. Don't, don't say that shit. I understand, but dude, it'd be different for you robbing a store. Don't get the police thrown into something as petty as this. I, I'm sorry. It, it honestly happened on a whim. I'll give it back right now, so please don't call the cops. 
That is so fucking excellent. Thank you so much for getting back my precious bag. Looks like you got so focused on studying you didn't notice when it was gone. Seriously, I almost got screwed. The admission form for my upcoming exams inside there. My son was spot on yet again. Thank you for believing in me, Yagami-san. I'd be stupid not to recognize your powers. Should I say this? Should I? She'd be real happy that if I said that. But the real answer would be this one. But let's say we are partners. Well, we are partners. I guess we've come a long way together. Indeed. I will admit, it's reassuring to have you here with me. It seems as though you have the power to resolve the calamities, whereas I have the power to predict them. Perhaps this could make for a quite an interesting relationship. I'm glad you think so. So, are we not going to talk about the cow calamity thing? Because uh, I still got a cow over my head, supposedly. Yagami-san. Yagami -san. Thank you for tagging along with me today. Yes, I forgot I could look around. You are quite the eye-catching woman. Mm -hmm, yes. The time we spent together was uh, quite enjoyable. Give me that level up. Uh, intimacy. Oh, did that mean your, your objective changed? I thought you were watching over my calamity. Ah, you're right. I had so much fun I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time. Indeed. Well then, let us meet again soon, unless a calamity befalls you. Wow, that face says something right there. Did you have to end it on an ominous note? <laughs> uh, don't be such a cow. Oh god, stop. I don't like the pun. Now, again, what about the cow calamity, right? That's it? Is it just going to happen way later or something? Well, either way, I'm certain we're going to see her again eventually. We still got this side case here, which it's only two side cases I could think of doing. The rest is going to have to be discovered. I don't know if the rest is considerably the last bit that I know I have left and something I want to encounter. But if there's anything I'd like to do... It's been a long time since I've been over here, and I'm kind of in the mood to do a little bit of this. You know, I have been wanting for a while now to do some Paradise VR. Sir, do you have play passes? These cores cost a different number of play pa uh. A number? Short course is three. Let's do let's do one of these. I, I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. Cause I have a feeling something will happen when we do some of this stuff. I'm just guessing though. There's still cool reward to get as well, so Hi. go. Short course with standard rules, understood. Thank you for using the play pass. Your goggles and let's <laughs> get started. You're all set. Enjoy your trip to Virtual Camorcho time to get that shit going people with the fit yes. Yes. yeah oh, I love this introduction it's been a while since we've seen this earlier in the playthrough before we were kind of just thrown into it and we were forced to do it but man does it look nice I love this I love this game I swear let's get started some map display can we do it in five though? Well, we'll find out. Oh, we got the safe, okay. Yes. Alright, finally, Jesus, that was a little too close. Thank you for giving me food for some reason. One? How did I get cucked on that? Why? Got an item? Gimme, give gimme. Give Gift space. <laughs> Take what you can get, huh? Alright, fine. Can I pull off some good stuff here? 
Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, oh, we gotta fight. Oh, so beating these enemies gives me an extra dice roll. I didn't realize that. Well, this should be pretty easy to do. Just get out of here. That explosion is so extra, bro. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I got a chicken sandwich. Why am I getting food? It gave me one dice roll extra. So I'm hoping if I do any more fights, it gives me extra rules, right? So maybe I should go for a two-star? Alright, what did the map look like? So, if I go this way, I go to a gift space. If I go this way, I go to this space. I wonder which way I should go. There's more chances for good stuff here, though. So, I guess we're gonna do this one. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Iron plate, which is pretty ass. Alright, can I get onto a fighting space? I wonder about this. Well, let's see what we get. Five. I keep forgetting that's the wrong button. So two, three, four, fuck. This is about to get interesting. We only have one more left, bro. We're gonna have to, like, clutch it or something. Easy. Another piece of food, though? Ima. Okay. Can I clutch it? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, we just clutched it. Is that a two star one, too? It is a two star, so we can get two dice rolls here. Wow. Battle space it is. Fight using double sticks, so I got duel. Out of my face. That was kind of clean in a way. Alright, Rainbow Bun. What the heck is that? Two dice roll, let go! And with this, we should be able to. We're gonna make it regardless, I know it. Come on. One, two, three, and a five. Or, yeah. <laughs> Another fight. <laughs> well, no matter what, we're gonna hit the end, so who cares? Let's try to enjoy ourselves here. And there it is. Oh, yeah, baby. I wish we didn't get all food though, like what the fuck. We got everything of food and then we got a plate to hold that food. That iron plate ain't even big enough, bruh. At least you uh, make a little spending money. Uh, not really enough, to be honest. And you got some dice to at least make a little money on that. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a little bit better. Yes. Could have been better. Thank you for playing Dice and Cube. Hope to see you soon. Stealth Extract. Okay. Short chorus challenge for Dice and Cube is now unlocked. Ah, we're gonna have to do those. I don't know if that really indicates anything, but ah, let's get it going. You know. Okay. Can I talk to her? No, I'm just kidding. Let me not. Obviously, I'm on it. I appreciate you coming along with me today, Yagabe son. Though I'm relieved nothing bad happened, please be aware that the clarity still looms above you. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'll call you again soon. Right, let's go on a date again. Certainly, because watching for invisible cows is so romantic. <laughs> what the fuck, bruh? What the hell? I all right, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat on that one, Amane. 
Ah, yes, Amane. This is such a great time for you to be calling. I'm just kidding. It's not like I'm getting fully chased right now. Anyways, hello there, you got me, son. What's up? Today I saw an elderly man with a sign of a calamity. I followed your advice from the other day and I managed to get him to listen to my warning. I'm glad it helped. Yes, I can't thank you enough. By the way, what kind of sign did you see? An ominous sign of the blades. I hope that he follows my warning and stays careful. Did it seem like he believes you? I'm not sure he seemed half convinced, but did say that he'll be careful. Let's hope he keeps his word in. We are finally back here at the Yagami Detective Agency. At the very least, I wanted to check this because I knew this was going to be here now. Now, the rest of these are kind of sus as this one requires me to have reputation 50. We just hit 45, so there's five more friendships to do. I have no damn idea where the fuck they're at. I'm at the point I gotta start looking straight up, alright? So, I'm hoping that some of the friendships that arise from some of these, <laughs> these last two freaking uh, side cases I can do currently, there is a friendship we could currently do right now, but I don't think we can finish him yet. I will go over there after we finish these other two side cases we got, though, just to see if that finishes him off. You know, the author that made us do these stupid. I wouldn't say conspiracy theories, but it was just a very weird turn of events that we had to do for trying to figure out a riddle. I'm just saying, but of course we gotta find this man's son again. I have no idea why it required such a high proc for this one. But we're at the point that there's only these two left, and if these are the only two side cases left, then what else is left after these? How many side cases have I done? We're only gonna have two left. One of them I know that drone races. So what are the last two? This is probably the side case finale. Con confirm this has to be the side case finale. This this is probably after 50, right? Or after 49. Okay, this will be 49 side case right here. After we do everything else, right? So I don't know what's gonna happen, but it also required reputation 50. And we just hit 45, and there's only one friendship I know that we can do, and then there's no other that are on the map right now. So, I don't know what the heck's gonna happen, but damn, we almost done with this game! Here we go again. Yeah.